Okay, ladies, we're gonna start off with the dollar index with the software I know how to use properly. Okay, so I previously spoke about this range here, okay? And obviously we've come up above it, took out the stops there, come down, taking out the stops here. Now we're getting back above it. So this is critical. Last time when I spoke about this level here. So this is the 9190 level here, this low. The last time we spoke about this, it was a full-on bearish candle. Okay. It was real. It was down here when we spoke about last, and so I said next downside targets start aiming for these highs here, because obviously we had a sell-off from here, resistance becomes support. But to keep in mind, we were in. Um, let me go to the weekly. We were in this candle here with this area here this was what Lord tell me this MT4 is missing upon me as well look at that. every time I try to draw a triangle a rectangle look at something yeah here we go okay this was the up candle here resistance resistance now possibly support Okay, now this data is a bit off. When I draw it on the trading view, it's a bit better. The data is a bit better there. But you get the picture, okay? We're in a support area now. Solid support. Now, it doesn't mean we can't continue lower. But we are, what we have to do, remember, is we've got to work with the data we're given. The fact that we're going back above here is a sign that we could have a little retracement back up. A little pop back up. It doesn't mean the downtrend's over with, okay? Now, look at the lower time frame. We've attempted multiple times to get through it here. We got through here, pop back up. We got through here, pop back up. We got through again, pop back up. What is that telling you? <coughs> <coughs> this is saying to me that it's not. We most likely might have a, a push up first because everybody and their dog is going to be trying to sell, uh, sell this low here. So I had a chart up. If you look on my Twitter, I said, okay, we got a low. So we're gonna think of both scenarios, right? This is how I do it. So I say, okay, if this is to continue down, the only way I would sell it is a setup below the 9190. Why the 9190? Well, it's below this low here that we start targeting next targets. But what is price doing now? It's showing us that it wants to push up. It was telling me it wants to push up. So what do we look for in bullish scenarios? You look for higher lows and higher highs. So let's look at this. What is a swing? So you look at what, is, what a swing is. So we've got this here. We've got a low here. If you look back on my Twitter, you'll see this chart here where I did this. And I had this here. And I had this. Uh, was it this or this? I can't remember. I think it was this point. Yeah, it was at this point here. Right? <clears throat> low. Lower low. Higher low. Okay. This could be, at this point, I'm thinking possible, sh at least short-term bottoming, okay? Now, this was before Fed, but it's just a thesis or a, <clears throat> a trade idea for now. It's not confirmed until we start getting higher highs. So, if we look from this side, we got a low, a high. A higher low, I'm talking about this low. This is just the intermediate low, okay? This is the main low. A higher low now it varies now and this data is a bit skewed right now but on other data feeds I've seen it make a higher high but that's the regardless we're starting to make a higher low now okay uh, on the trading view one I think this is a higher high here but that's fine made a higher low <coughs> now I'll go down to the lower time even lower time frame to see other setups now okay if we look look at pivotal that 9190 level has been that's a monthly level that is it's like a flip point resistance come back below it back above it support okay so short term i'm leaning towards the bullish side of this okay and look at the dailies closed this daily candle took out uh, previous day's low closed back uh, within it where are the stops going to be resting if i'm bullish then i look for reasons for it to go up then so one of the reasons is this pattern here that's one reason okay this is just pure logic, okay? One reason. So the next stops are going to be resting above this high here. 
okay so if we're assuming uh, higher lows and higher highs then this stop here then this stop here okay looking back at the weekly uh, monthly chart I like this candlestick here well we got the bodies of the candles here but I like this here uh, where's it gone? an objective to be this objective here why is this I'll explain it now so let me get rid of that go to the weekly Oh, oh, this low here sorry this low here if you go to the weekly so this was a low the next leg down this was so we had this consolidation here retracement up down then the push up so this this input this impulse move here started from this low here so I don't need price to go there but it's like a magnet that I think price would be reaching towards okay so the journey towards this possible level if we get that what do we have in in the way so we have possible targets ahead of that so I'll be marking out each high okay you got that high there and that high there now obviously I could just come up and just say to you guys okay these highs here but I'm trying to explain what's going on my thought process behind it is what I'm saying making sense I'm trying to explain my thought process behind it, not just okay, uh, we got high here, high here, high here, but the reasoning behind it, and I think that's important. That's what helped me develop. Okay, so I'm just explaining the the way that I really learnt is having all this background story behind it. Or what actually is going on? There's no point saying, well, if it comes here and rejects, then we expect no. But look at what's happening at the same time. What is this? What is this picture being built up? This price action is telling you something. What is it telling me at this point? This this story behind it is is what it's telling me. So at this point, I'm looking. Okay, I look at the extreme low at this point. So this is the extreme low, right? Where was the high? Where did the leg move start from? From looking, is this here? right yes we have that high here but this is one leg down then this is another leg down so it makes sense to me where it started um, I'll be looking for that as potential stops so I, I, I think we're gonna take out this now whatever happens after that and we, we don't even have to get to that level but we can take one level at a time so for me the higher probability level to be taken is obviously this one here short term and then this one there this one there because this down leg here is this low here started from this down leg here uh, up here for me what would increase the probab uh, probability of getting to the next high would be if we found support at the leg at the high that started this uh, down leg does that make sense so this is the down leg right so start here this would be a proper breaking market structure for me why why the bullet wait save you save your question to the end please okay I'll, I'll, I'll promise I'll answer all your questions just go with it for now this here so short term targets here and then there now in between that we gotta look for small targets in between that we got this breaker here okay let it move up find resistance there so one way another way of there's many ways some people are real conservative there X Y and Z has to happen before I actually step in and by that time price is already gone 300 pips so yes that's more conservative way but if if price is giving you an opportunity before that then I'm gonna gain on that what this would mean to me is I could if I'm looking for a swing trade or at least playing towards a target I know where price should and shouldn't go so I know from my back testing that if price does something like this right then this down candle here was what provided resistance here so I would not ex I would I wouldn't expect price to breach this level so if I was long I would be trading my stop loss just under there then so this is what I would be looking for then there then down move there then like that that's the bullish case for it okay now obviously the bearish is a solid clean move below these lows here then I think we're making new lows we need to get back below the 9190s that's the line in the sand and once it gets back below there but for me it's had many attempts to go below this 9190 and it's not got and it's not doing it so higher probability wise for me higher price is more probable what will change that obviously is below that 
is that clear with the dollar index? I spent a bit of time on this dollar index, but it's this concept that I'm explaining can be applied to all pairs. So if I do a solid explanation on one instrument, explaining why, then it can be explained on other ones, okay? So that's the dollar index done. So with that dollar index bias, we sort of got an idea of where all the other pairs are doing. I could just do this dollar index and then fuck off and say, okay, we're not done and go figure where the rest are. So with that in mind, we need um, confirmation from the other pairs. What are the other majors telling us? If we're putting a case forward for a possible bottom in the dollar, is there a case for the possible tops in the majors? Okay. Um, and not just one major, multiple majors. Okay. So cable, I mean, this is one pair I don't want to short, but so I'd, I'd probably keep an eye on it, but this has been really, really strong. So we've got this low here, right? This low here, strong, strong level. This is, I mean, re how do you measure the strength of level? What was the reaction of it previously? Well, when it came here previously, we had 3,620 pip move. What is the chances we're going to get at least some sort of reaction? Even if it does break through eventually, what is the probability we're going to get something off of it? It's quite high. Even if it's a small reaction or profit taking, later on it can continue higher. And then after that, we've got this level here. Okay, so that is what, that's about 350 odd pips away. Okay, so that's fine. Weekly, what is the weekly telling us? So we've come up, we've taken some big stops out here. These are um, big stops here. This is one pair I don't really want to take. Um, to be honest, I ain't got the balls to short this right now. Uh, if I want to short it, I'd rather play it through the Euro GBP or something. Or, but I'm, I'm going to go over it anyway. Because I want to I want to build a case for it, at least for a short term top to support what dollar idea. That does not mean cable can't rip, even if the dollar's um, going up. Cable's done it before. If it's just strong, it's strong, it's strong. But I'm go if it's gonna if it's to go down, then I want to mark a possible area to even rebuy or retest at least. Okay. So if I mark this out, I don't know why it might platform is really starting to play up okay this candle here why from resistance resistance broken out of it so what I would like to see is a retest of this here or the this series of down candles here one two three down candles before the push up so minimum here if I was gonna buy I would wait for a minimal pull down here before I was to buy we've also got this high here which is the 34451. So if I draw that out, all right, I know I've got loads of lines going on, so I'll start deleting these lines. 134451. 451. Okay, let's see what price action is doing on the lower time frames around that. So we're starting to establish, you know, some support here, you know, some consolidation. Now, I mentioned earlier. Well, I didn't take the trade, so it doesn't really count. These stops are taken, which we had a nice little move here. But look what's happened. We've come up. Uh, this was FOMC, popped out the high, then came down, popped out the low. So it's, it's taken that stop both sides on this small range here. I possibly, I think that it's going to go lower, retrace. Doesn't mean the trend's over, but fill in some of this in here. This stops resting here. And then I'd like to see a move down to here. This would overall support the idea. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. If I was going to take a long, I'd wait for price to come into here and then go up. That's what I would be looking for. But the main trades I want to focus on now is the Euro. The Euro, I really think it's going to go down. Now, there's one thing posting a chart and saying, okay, this is the range, this is that, but I'm going to try to explain this one in the most detail. <coughs> okay, so if I'm looking at a chart, I look for where's the range and the where's the breakout and where does the breakout start from, okay? So we can see, right, we've got consolidation here, right? We've got consolidation here, okay? Now, I had, I've had this level here marked up for a while, okay? These series of down candles, the two them move up, took out the stops, then made a lower high, then broke down here, okay? So this is critical. Now, let's see how price is behaved going forward with these, this here. This is the zone plus, uh, I'm looking at resistance, resistance, resistance resistance then the breakout acting as support support okay that is going to be the line in the sand for me for now okay now where is the range we're trading in once that broke out okay it was within this now what 
I did was I had this marked out here, so this was the high made. This was the high made. The low from that high is here. But the reason why I started using this range here is because once this popped, took out this high out, then I know this from here to here is controlling or keeping price within. They're trying to keep price within it. The fact because of the fact we popped through it, then we came back down. Okay, so the stops are going to be resting at the low of the range, which is here. Is that making sense how I'm picking a range? Before that happened, right, I wouldn't know this is the range, but when, or to use that range, but because it popped it, or broke through it, then it came back within, then I thought, okay, this is key now. This is where, when price goes there, they're selling it, okay? They're pulling price back below it once it's, it reached that point. Then I looked at it, okay, what was the lowest, what low did it make after that? It made this low. So this is why I've been using this range and I said the stops are going to be resting below here. <clears throat> so looking at the monthly, again like this, we took out previous month's high, closed below it. And another strong thing is, is previous month's high. So the high here is 120.699. Okay, that's a monthly high as well. That's what's key. But we're staying below that now. Every look at now if if it's to confirm our dollar view, is it making a higher high? It made a high there, but it broke down. Lower high. So far a lower high. Now if I'm expecting bullish dollar, that would mean I should be expecting lower euro. What other reasons do I have for a low euro? The bottom of the range still hasn't been taken. Okay? So if it was going to go up, it should have gone up from here, made this low here, should have gone up, but it hasn't. So this is another factor that's supporting my bullish dollar. And I still think this is going to take, take, and what would invalidate the idea was if we could clean move above this high here. This is the high I'm looking for a clean buy. I'm not bothered by this one. This is the one. If we get clean move above here, then all bets are off for me for shorts, and I'm looking for 121 and then higher. Okay, so what's happened since then? So if we look, right, it's still using this breaker here. Yes, we popped up above it. We popped above it here, but I'm I'm seeing these, this down move. If I mark out the whole down move, right, before the leg up, this is still kept within that. Okay, so we 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 popped up here. We came down, nice sell off. Now often thin prices like that get filled in. We just filled that in, and that's how I'm seeing the move today. Just filling in of the fast move down because I believe that they're going to want to really send this a lot lower. Um, so what would invalidate my idea now? I think the high is in for the euro. And I think next week, because we've had a week that's closed within the range, I think it's going to be a, a little move up. I'll draw out my weekly open for next week. And it's going to be targeting this low here. Now the low of the range also, if you look at the other range from this low to the high is here. The way I would play this is conservative entries, right? I would wait for move below here. That would be a conservative one. Retest. Then pop this low here. But aggressive, <clears throat> and what I'll be looking for going to the week, I want to see this high hold. There's no reason. If it's going to send this lower, there's no reason. Unless it's a quick move up, reject these highs, then fall. That's one scenario. But going forward, I want to see price possibly push up into this low here. Then break down. Once it's below the weekly open formed, I'm going to be balls deep short. So pass a move like this, and I'm going all the way to 1.1820. That's going to be my target. And just to make things clear, this is for education purposes only, and all trades are on depot. <clears throat> just in case some fucker tries to <clears throat> do me over for investment advice. Is that making sense of how I'm looking to approach this pair? So all starts off on the way I approach it is. I work backwards. Where should where are the where is the money resting? In in other words, where are the stops? Okay, which side of the range are they taken? They taken the top side. So most likely, if they reject that, they're gonna want to take the other side of the range. Okay, as you can see, we're ranging. So this is where stops are taken back and forward. So it makes sense based on the monthly taken at the previous month's high, then the, and the weekly we took at last week's high. The stops are still resting. And do we take a last week's low? Last week's low rested at. Three six seven, and this week's low was. Nope, we haven't taken last week's low out. So the next stop's gonna be resting at last week's low. 
So short term, at least last week's low should be taken. That's my bias. And then 1.1820 after that, okay? Um, Aussie dollar, <clears throat> dollar card actually, first time in ages I'm doing. Um, if I go to the dollar card. Similar scenario, market, I think this is going to be wanting to reach the monthly open. And then from there we'll break it down. So the monthly open, sticking to the bullish dollar bias, 124.744. It'll be funny, right, if I'm completely wrong and all the dollar pairs just rip against the dollar. And all this goes to shit. <clears throat> so monthly open there. If we're expecting a bullish dollar, I mean, this pair has just been going down, down, down. So at least some profit taking should be occurring with coupled with a bullish dollar bias. So we've got a level here, right? <clears throat> Support, look at the bodies, focus on the bodies, the bodies, the bodies. Retest, we came down into this block here. So <clears throat> this is the monthly open I think it's gonna reach, but I'm happy to take profits before that. This is gonna be the next target. So it shouldn't break this low here. Ideally it shouldn't break this low, but the hard stop for me would be below here. So same strategy, wait for the weekly open. Because I don't have a clear level to get long here. Once price starts unfolding during the week, then you get clearer price levels. As it stands, I do not have a clear price already to enter. But say it opened here, I'd wait for the move down. Any move below it, off a level that's formed already from previously. But once it gets back above it and we have structure formed, then I'd get back in. I know where price wants to go. Bullish price action above the weekly open. This is a clear target. So I'm going for these highs here and the monthly open. That's dollar card basically, okay. Um, Aussie dollar, <clears throat> I'm bearish this as well. Same scenario as the euro. We've come up. Rejected off the high. We've come up again, rejected again. So what is that telling you? They really want to sell this. Supports the bullish dollar. So all these pairs at the moment as it stands are supporting bullish dollar. At least short term. Okay. Oh, this is a pair I like. Uh, I'm going to like. One of my favorites as well for next week. We've come up. So if you look down here. This low here. We rejected off it. Um, I already went through why I, sh I shorted this year. The week. So that's done. I'm hoping this is the high here. And if I'm correct. Then I do not want to see. Um, price go above this high. So this is the consolidation here. This consolidation here pushed up above it came back down retested it here halfway point I think this is gonna be another pair that's gonna should sell off immediately if I'm not sure it's gonna sell off immediately then I'll wait weekly open strategy again that I've been through in previous videos but where is it targeting this is the other thing I like because it's for me I like this because it's clear targets if I have clear targets and go for I'm not too bothered about my entry I'll have a wider stop as long as it offers me a minimum of 2 to 1 and I have a clear, clear invalidation level. So if you look at this, you're right. <coughs> if you look at this, we've got a consolidation here that led to the move up. So this is where the accumulation was occurring, right? So if th that's got the move up there, where are the stops going to be resting? These are, look at, look at how lovely these lows are easy money here there's gonna be big big stops resting here so i'm happy to just play this just for that target here forget this even as a day trade or one or two days or scalp even towards this target um so this is gonna be my target here call it 70 uh, 870 so if i'm working backwards and i think that how do i get there so like i said weekly open strategy or assuming this is the high place didn't because the euro is coming off of a key level Aussie's is coming off of a key level as well it can obviously do one more push up and then lower but I'm going to be looking for shorts here. Um, it's come off of that idea. I wasn't sure if this was going to hold, so I wait for that breakdown. Accumulation, run up, took out the stops here into the key level, breakdown. So there's no reason for them to take the market above here. Okay, so going into um, Sunday open, I might even short this on Sunday open. I'll see how price unfolds. Um, I let price. I usually like to let price unfold on Asia, but as long as I want to see this box hold. If we start getting further breakdown, I'll know my risk. I'll know that price shouldn't go above here. So I'll probably place my stop above here, but I would cut it if it got above here and then I'll play it all the way down. Aiming for 78.70. Okay. Is that clear with the Aussie? 
obviously I usually I usually always post my entries um, ahead of on Twitter anyway so is that, is that are we clear with that the Aussie okay uh, Ki Kiwi is a bit tricky now Kiwi you gotta be careful because we've got New Zealand elections this weekend so the way it's looking to me I mean I'm not really bearish this market it's the one pair that's really I'm fine I'm struggling to short this so I'm gonna leave this out for now let's see I mean, I'm, sh I'm assuming the election gonna do, do a lot of fuckeries with this one I mean yeah so Kiwi is not clear to me Aussie is clear or short to me um, Kiwi if forget that for now Euro GBP okay so I'm a bit got to miss most of this move but I still think Euro GBP is gonna want to take out these lows here it's making a higher low at the moment because it's low and it's forming some so this is I think this looks to me we could get a bit of a consolidation here which would mean cable and euro could fall together but I don't see nothing clear with euro GBP I'd like price to stay I mean this is a support now it's turning resistance I mean I'd like price to stay below this really um, if, it, if it does a clear move up here then obviously we're gonna have to start looking for lungs but it's establishing a clear range here so I'm not really clear on Euro GBP, so I won't do much on that. Um, gold, gold's gone to plan. Um, I was looking for uh, this target here, this uh, about the 1293s, and it's hit that target when it was down here. So right now, it, for me to get short this market, I need to see a clean break of this level, then a retest. So I think it might consolidate here for a while. And if it breaks that, I think at that point it's gonna go. I wanna go lower, and I'm aiming for these lows next. Uh, this low and then this low here. So what? Uh, 1260, 1268, 1267 level. If if that imports, I, I just stand. I do not want to be a buyer of this. If it clears this high here cleanly, then a retest, I'll buy it. But as it stands here, I think it's gonna wanna go lower. So there. So I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave Dalian for now because Dalian. I don't want to go over right now. I'll post that in chart form. Um, but actually, I'll go over Dalian because I'm going to let go of the questions. Do you guys remember when I posted this chart on Dalian? Same thing. This was the range we're in on Dalian. And I said, this is the 50% uh, on this range here. Okay. So, I posted a chart when it was here. So, if I go back right, I've got a chart here. Okay. It was at this point here and I marked like this I said I'm watching this level carefully I wasn't happy shorting this but I said if it pops through this and if it finds support then I'm gonna be looking for the lungs now what's why am I using this range is because obviously the same as euro dollar it popped it took out this high here so it alerts me that this is the leg I want to be using and I'm still using that because if you were to use 50% fib right from normally you taught to use the range from that high to this low here here is 50 percent and it would make more sense to actually buy it here because there's resistance here but does price come back to it it doesn't but if you look back and use the range they actually uh, used from here this is was the um turning point and look how far they found support there couple that with the four hour level here uh, here this is why I was looking for the lungs okay when I posted that level uh, here if you look at my Twitter I said this um, I'm looking for lungs uh, was it down here that's what I was looking for this we can't help it was FOMC you know you're gonna get spikes in FOMC that's why it's hard to trade that unless you get a wider stop but it acted as a it's acting as a nice pivot above it I'm bullish below it I'm bearish simple as that okay so that's dollar and done so I'm gonna stop the recording here and then we can have loads of Q&A's you guys around so let me stop the recording here